Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to the Delta. It's a chilly and very rainy day. I thought I'd make you guys going with the tis the season some chili. I have always done a sort of a three bean, three meat chili, but I saw some meat, another meat I liked and another bean that I liked, so I thought we'd go four to four today. Roughly and fine chop some jalapeno and bell pepper. I've got uh, the onion as well, and then I've got all my mixture of beans right here, so you can see that. I'm also uh, gonna do a white cannellini bean that's got a little sauce on it as well as a regular red bean. All right, the kitchen's a mess, because like I said, we've got like three hours and I gotta make the chili right. I'm gonna do a little olive oil in this big old pot, and uh, I'm gonna transfer it to this one because I got a lot of people coming over, a lot of friends. We have a great time tonight. I live for making chili, it's been a while. All right, we're gonna add the onion. That's the sound of love right there. And a little jalapeno and bell pepper. A little salt, a little pepper. So I like to add a little chili pepper to the actual onions and jalapenos and bell peppers. Chili cut meat, because we're making chili. We have so many friends coming over, and I don't know if it's, they're actually friends of ours, or they just like my chili. We have a lot of great friends here in Mississippi. A little ground pork, a couple pounds of it. Obviously double that on the chili beef, and then I love putting some ground turkey in there, a little ground sausage. We're gonna mix all of this together with our onion and jalapeno and bell pepper. A little while ago it was just, they were all on their own and now it's starting to really come together. With a slotted spoon, I transferred all of the meat, vegetables, they're all perfect right now. Uh, I wanted to get rid of as much grease as I could and there was probably a lot of juice sitting at the bottom, probably about an inch of it. So we got rid of that, keep it as healthy as possible. And now I'm gonna start adding large can diced tomatoes. All right, I'm gonna do a couple cans of crust. Come in here real quick. So we're gonna do this. You know, when you're cooking chili. I want to add a little can of Rotel, just one can. I'm going to stir it together. My beans go in. Chili beans I was talking to you about. I have a little sauce, it doesn't hurt to have, have the sauce on there, right? Just a little bit. It's all right, it's okay. That's the only time we're going to go with that. Then we're going to add beer, two beers, 12 ounce beers for this amount. Add a little Worcestershire, chicken stock, a couple tablespoons of butter, add quite a bit of chili powder. And this is just one of those things where I'm just eyeing it because I know it's gonna need a lot. And then the secret mad ingredient, coffee grinds, used coffee grinds. So, you know, it's about three tablespoons. I'm gonna salt, right? And what I'm gonna do is keep it on about medium heat for a while since it's such a big pot for about, you know, 30, 40 minutes and then start letting it simmer for a couple hours. I almost forgot a very key ingredient. Crushed red pepper. A little bit of cayenne at the very end. Stir it up. There we go. And I will see you later. Baby, you're my sunshine. Everybody needs